హలో ఎవరి వన్ గుడ్ డే టుడే వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ టేబుల్ క్లీనర్ సో వాట్ ఈస్ టేబుల్ క్లీనర్ అండ్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద లిమిటేషన్స్ ఇన్ ద టేబుల్ క్లీనర్ అండ్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద న్యూ ఫీల్స్ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్డ్ ఇన్ ద వ్యాన్ కోర్ రిలీజ్ ఆన్ ద టేబుల్ క్లీనర్ బిఫోర్ వీ ఆర్ స్టెపింగ్ ఇన్ టు ద టేబుల్ క్లీనప్ సెటప్ let me have few, uh, few discussions about what is table cleaner so whenever we we are using table cleaner it will delete the older records automatically and prevents the data from growing and we have few limitations in the table cleaner it is not supported for tables that are configured to use table rotations or table extensions performance will be depends on the size of the table and what are the conditions you are providing in the table so table cleaner will spends maximum of 20 minutes to delete the records from a single table this may increase based on the conditions let me go to the table cleanup in navigation you can search as table cleanup open the table cleanup which is under instant scan click on all let me show the existing record which i have already created again we can create a new record first let me show the existing one i created it on incident table so which is having active is true so here i am mentioning that i need to delete 100 day 100 days ago data in this particular incident table and which are inactive records let me go to the incident table so here you can see all the data is deleted based on the condition and i have only single record why this single record is not deleted is active is false but created is 2 months ago not 100 days so it's just 60 days ago so it is it's not deleted this record and all other records are deleted so let me create a new one for us so i already opened a new record for a new record here so table name so here we need to mention target table name where we are going to delete the data i'm going with the case table match field this match field is auto uh, automatically populated when we are creating a new out of flesh record it will be a sys underscore created underscore on if you want to change this field you need to you can or you need uh, you can change it but it should be updated or created based on date or time field always match field should include with date or time field age in seconds if you are going with zero as age in seconds it will clean all the data in that particular table if you are giving any specific age in seconds like i am giving it as 100 days 100 days in seconds this is the 100 days in seconds so you need to specify in seconds only so active by activating this it will run so cascade delete option so it will uh, help us to delete the related records or reference records if you can check it so it will delete the reference records or related records based on this particular table records which are going to delete so if you are unchecking it it won't delete related records or reference records it will delete only that particular record in the case table so these are the two new fields introduced in the vancore release one is clean peripheral here you can see this peripheral uh, field is used to delete the records from the attachment tables or journal field tables if you have any uh, records in that particular tables like attachment tables or journal fields it will delete if you are unchecking it it won't delete the records in that particular tables clean audit this is also like if you have any records in the audit table related to the record which we are going to delete it will delete all those records if you are checking it if you are unchecking it won't delete so this is how it works let me give active is false i'm going to delete the inactive records which is 100 days ago let me save this record or submit this record meanwhile let's go on to the case table and this is the case table and i have filtered with inactive records we have total six records and in these six records also it will take based on the 100 days filter so we have only one record let's see it should delete that one record it's saved so this table will be run every one hour 
yeah we have a schedule job or scheduler written on this particular table so it will run every one hour and it will check for the conditions and age in seconds it will delete the records in this particular table let's check that job schedule job so i'm going into the schedulers let's check how much time it is scheduled from now table cleaner so it is going to run after one minute so this particular conditions or auto flush which we have here it will run one minute from now let's wait for one minute and check the result let me reload this page this is how you need to configure the table cleanup so uh, by writing the scripts we can delete the records based on the condition but we need to uh, but we need to write other scripts to delete related records or reference records or audit records so this is the best way to use the table cleanup so uh, we can say it as no code or low code platform by using table cleanup so let me check it less than a minute from now let's wait for a minute and we are giving it as inactive records and 100 days older records let's check it see it is already triggered the schedule and here you can see it is updated for next one hour so from now it will execute again from next one hour let me go to this case list and we have total of six records and all the records are inactive records and we have only one record which matches that created date let me refresh this page so here you can see we have earlier six records now it is five records and all are inactive but not 100 days this all are seven days ago and nine days ago this is how we can use the table cleanup and it is a easy way to use without scripting thank you